our group will talk about the cultural event named Stratford Festival. So for today's agenda, Ms. Ari Osita will discuss the history and origin of the Stratford Festival, Ms. Alia Alavarta will discuss the SWOT analysis of the destination where the event is held, Ms. Marian Dalawido will discuss why is the event successful, Ms. Lorraine Navera will discuss the best practices in the development of the event, Mr. Ernest Mabalot will identify the key elements in event planning process, while Ms. Mariela Tavera will discuss the contingency planning and risk management. Before we start, let me tell you something about Stratford Festival. Stratford Festival is formerly known as Stratford Shakespearean Festival. It is held annually in Stratford, Ontario, Canada. It is an annual live theatrical festival that features many of Shakespeare's works as well as non-Shakespearean tragedies and current plays. For the history and origin of the Stratford Shakespeare Festival, it is developed out of thriving amateur theatrical movement, radio theater, and rising cultural nationalism. Stratford's international reputation for high-quality classical theater began in 1953. As a result, Guthrie was replaced by Michael Langham. The festival theater designed by Robert Farfield opened in 1957. Its trust stage encircled the spectators on three sides. It helped the growth of Canadian professional theater by founding and sustaining a resident company and offering training and experience to actors, directors, and other attracting excellent talent from throughout the country. Actors William Hutt, Colm Fear, and Christopher Plummer all benefited from it. The festival theater employed a unique thrust stage built by Tanya Moisevich and envisioned by a British director, Tyrone Guthrie. It had a huge impact on the Shakespeare productions worldwide. Stratford's economic and cultural life was altered by the festival as envisioned by the organizer Tom Patterson. The festival developed significantly throughout the decades, launching the careers of prominent performers and directors. On the other hand, it maintained a core group of performers and other employees from season to season. As a result, other theater groups in Canada were able to flourish. Artists like Jean Gascon, Jan Hirsch, and Richard Monet were able to appoint it. The festival continued to stage Shakespearean and classical plays while also adding French classic like Moliere and musicals. The event is a still huge creative and commercial success. Let's now proceed to the SWOT analysis of Stratford Festival. Stratford Festival faces strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats both internally and in the macro environment in which it operates. The following presents the SWOT analysis of Stratford Festival. Under the strengths, first is managing regulations and business environment. Second, diverse product portfolio of Festival Stratford, which enables them to target various segments to the domestic market. And lastly, the intellectual property rights. Under the weaknesses, the implementation of technology in processes, customer dissatisfaction, and lack of workforce diversity. Under the opportunities, lucrative opportunities in international markets through globalization, e-commerce and social media-oriented business models, and lastly, increasing standardization. Under the threats, increasing cost component for working in developed markets because of environmental regulations, threats of new entrants because of reducing costs and increasing efficiencies, and lastly, culture of sticky prices in the industry. Stratford Festival can leverage strengths to create niche positioning in the market, strive to reduce and eliminate weaknesses so that it can better compete with competitors, look for opportunities provided by industry structure, regulations, and other changes in the external environment. Finally, make provisions and develop strategies to mitigate threats that could undermine Festival Stratford's business model. For the characteristic of Stratford Festival, the first one is each season present more production in four distinctive venues. They produce contemporary dramas, musical and classics, with special emphasis on William Shakespeare plays. These are held at Avon Theatre, Festival Theatre, Studio Theatre, 
and Tom Patterson Theatre. The second one is the Stratford Festival is Connecting True Stories. Each year, the festival includes over 150 audience participation activities, many of which connect the theatrical with current events. This play are relevant in today's event. The third one is, it recognizes each production of Shakespearean plays. The festival major concentration is on presenting Shakespeare's play, but it also features a diverse spectrum of theatrical production from Greek tragedy to Broadway musical to modern works. The last one is they embracing the new audience and accessibility. They welcome potential theatrical growers who prefer a less constricting or intense environment than regular theaters. Their laid back performance are tailored into individual with intellectual or learning difficulties sensory processing disorder or autism there are seven best practices in the development of an event first is to define your goal create a list of quantifiable objectives for the event so that members remain aligned second is to conduct pre-event surveys after the goals are set conduct a brief pre-event surveys with the potential attendees and ask them what would they want to see in the event it is actually a smart approach to remain on track with attendees' preferences, while also ensuring the organizing effort won't go to waste. Third is to secure sponsorships. Event sponsorships can help ease the financial burden of the event in expanding the capital without expanding the budget. Consider innovative approach to meeting the demands of the sponsors to ensure the mutually beneficial relationship. Fourth is to launch an event website. The event website should be an accurate reflection of the event brand, in addition to providing all the important event information. Fifth is to leverage omnichannel marketing. Once the event's main components are in place, the attention should shift to events advertising via all accessible channels. Here are a few options to consider. Segmented email, social media, and content marketing. Six is to send out net promoter score survey. It is one of the most effective strategies for uncovering customer satisfaction because the score in this is a key indicator of how much value your event brought to attendees. Seventh is to analyze post-event data. With a robust report of the post-event data, you will be able to prove real value to all relevant stakeholders and know how to optimize your strategy for future events. Key elements in event planning process. First, purpose of the event. The success of the festival changed Stratford into a city where arts and tourism play a vital role in the economy. The festival attracts many tourists from outside Canada, most notably British and American visitors. Second is knowing your audience. Among the Stratford Festival's million-plus attendees are the 50,000 students who came each year. The festival works hard to ensure the experience is memorable for their younger audience members. Third is selection of the right venue is vital. Stratford Festival has four permanent venues. First is the Festival Theatre, Second, the Avon Theater. Third, the Tom Patterson Theater. And fourth is the Studio Theater. Fourth is suitable timing. Much like right venue, right timing is also vital to organize a successful event. The festival runs from April through October with August being the business month. Over the years, Stratford has become hugely popular. Fifth and last key element is content that attracts your target audience. The city is best known as the site of the Stratford Festival, held each summer since 1953. The festival theatrical performances, particularly of plays by Shakespeare, were originally directed by Sir Tyrone Guthrie and are held in Festival Theatre built in 1957 at the Avon Theatre acquired in 1964 and Third Stage. Risk Management of Stratford Festival 
in the highly unlikely event that some or all of the emergency exit or breakpoints are unavailable for any reason during an evacuation scenario, then the main event entrance or exit point will need to be utilized and in such circumstances, emergency vehicles will be directed to assess the site via the temporary service route established for artists on the south boundary of the event arena. If the public address system is disabled, mass communication will be achieved by use of traditional megaphones stored backstage and event control. Next is the contingency plan of Stratford Festival. The Stratford Shakespeare Festival contingency plans are in place in the event of a strike by call center staff officials says there has never been a strike at the theater festival in Stratford, Ontario in its 59-year history and they are hoping this or there will be a negotiated settlement with the union representing the 53 employees. The festival says major issues are wages and contracting out. The center handles ticket sales and the festival is advising the patrons buy tickets online, although phone lines will remain open during a strike. They will restrict the audiences of 50 or they will have to push the season ahead by a few weeks or put some shows online only. So that's it for Stratford Festival. Thank you for listening and have a great day.